So welcome to Hump Day Coffee Break every Wednesday at 11 o'clock. Today we're going to talk about setting up goals in Google Analytics, and the agenda is pretty straightforward. We're going to talk about what are they, what are goals, why they matter, setting up your first goal, because most of you are probably here because you don't know how to do this and you're looking to do your first goal. So I'm going to walk you through that step by step. And then finally, um, creating goal alerts. So these are alerts that you can get when a goal has been exceeded, right, or a goal has been achieved. And I'll show you exactly what that is. You, you can get emails, you can get text messages about your goals, which is great. OK, so first of all, what are goals? Goals help you. Goals is actually a feature within Google Analytics, and it's the most important feature. And it really is the prerequisite for getting the most value out of Google Analytics. Uh, essentially, goals help you measure how often website visitors complete specific actions. Uh, the most common type of goal is going to be a conversion. Uh, and that's where someone makes a donation, they join your email list, they sign a petition, they register for an upcoming event, and so forth. You get the idea. Uh, and so without a goal set up, uh, basically what happens is that you're really not sure if you're hitting your goal or not, right? So the goal, the way to think about goals is literally it's setting up a goal post. Google Analytics, if we just use this analogy of playing football, or, you know, whatever this game is right here, it looks like football. Um, it's kind of like, you know, we're just kicking the ball around and hopefully it's going to go somewhere close to where we're, we're hoping it's supposed to be going, right? So that's like playing football without a goal post. That's literally what it's like. It's like playing football without a goal post. But as soon as you put a goal post there, everything becomes crystal clear. This is exactly what you need to do. And this is exactly how you're measuring success. If you get the ball through the goal, that is a win. That is a few, uh, how many points it is. I don't know. I don't follow football. Um, but, you know, you get the goal. Great. You don't get the goal. Zero. You get nothing for that. OK, so goals really help you direct your use of Google Analytics and also everything else that you're doing. So uh, so goals like all goals are specific and measurable. Uh, goals in Google Analytics will tell you when a goal is achieved, for example, a new donor. Um, and also, you'll be able to look at the behavior of visitors who convert. So people that are giving you donations, you can look at, well, where are these people coming from? Are they coming from Facebook, Twitter? What campaigns are resonating? What campaigns are working that convert the best uh, uh, for our organization? All right. So that that's what goals are. This, these first two slides really talk about exactly what goals are. Very simple definition. It just helps you measure. Um, how often a website visitor completes specific actions, right? And, it, and the analogy here I use is it's like setting up a goal post so that you can have a goal. You know, you know when the ball goes through the goal and you know when it doesn't go through the goal, okay? Uh, so goals matter. Why do they matter? Without a goal in Google Analytics, you really can't evaluate the effectiveness of anything you're doing. OK, and I hate to say this, it's pretty strict. I mean, you can judge, oh, wow, we're getting lots of traffic from Facebook. Uh, but really, the end point of your website, what is the purpose of your website? Obviously, you want to convert people. You want to convert subscribers, donors, volunteers, and so forth. And goals help you do that. So how do you set up goals? In these slides, I'm showing you step by step exactly how to set up goals. And I'll walk you through this, and then I'll do a live demo, all right? So the first thing you do is you sign into Google Analytics. You have to have a Google Analytics account. You click on the admin tab at the very top, and you're going to navigate to your account. If you just have one account, then that's great. It's going to automatically show up. You go to, to your domain, your property, which would be your website. And then in the view column, which is the column on the far right, you're going to click on goals. So that's the first thing you do. These are the first three steps. Once you go to goals, you're going to click on new goal. There'll be a button that says new goal. And then you select a goal that best matches your objective. OK, so for example, making a payment. In this case, this is what Google calls it. Google calls it making a payment. You can look at it as make a donation. They convert. They make a donation. They create an account. They join your email list. That's how you can look at it. Or they signed uh, they they signed a petition or signed a pledge. That would be acquisition. When, it, when you're acquiring a name and an email, that's acquisition. 
Uh, revenue is obviously tied to revenue, so make a payment that would be equivalent of make a donation, all right? In goals, <clears throat> and I'll show you this later on, you can actually set a dollar value for the goal that's met. Now, we're not going to dive into that because that's almost like goal uh, 2.0. Once you have goals set up and you're using them, great. Now, let's try and assign a dollar value to these goals, okay? So that's uh, clicking on a new goal. You'd select the goal that best matches your objective, and we talked about those objectives right here. The next step here is you're going to describe your goal. You simply name your goal. So in this case, joined newsletter. That's all. They just joined the newsletter, and you're going to pick uh, – sec next step is you're going to pick a goal set and a goal ID. So what's the – What's the, the uh, difference here? So basically a goal ID is a, the ID for your goal. Uh, and goals are organized in sets. And the way to think about sets is there are goals that are similar to each other. So they signed a pledge, they signed a petition, they, signed, they joined an email newsletter. Uh, and then there might be another set of goals that are all about donations. There might be a totally different set of goals about new volunteers. Right. So, you, in other words, you can use goal ID and goal set to organize your conversions, the actions that you're really shooting for on your website. OK, uh, so you pick your goal ID and goal set from a drop down menu and make sure that you're organizing these correctly. So, for example, if you do have joined newsletter and there are a couple of different ways that people can join your newsletter or a couple of different newsletters, you can take all of those goals and put them in a single goal set, okay? Uh, and then the next step here is you pick your destination, the type of destination or the type of metric or uh, really destination is what you're looking for. Uh, so you have destination, which would be a thank you page. This, by the way, is the most common type of goal. Usually um, there's other goals in here, for example, duration. They spent five minutes or more, as an example, on a web page or on your site. Uh, they looked at specific pages or screens during their visit. You know, they, we want people to visit these screens. If they do visit these pages or screens in the terms of an app, then we've achieved our goal. An event, they play a video, for example, or they play some sort of media on your website. And these are all great goals, but the most uh, powerful and most clear type of goal is really a conversion, a destination. So in other words, they make a donation. They see the thank you page. They, they join your email newsletter. Thank you for joining the newsletter. They see that thank you page. Um, thank you for signing the pledge. All of these are going to be destinations. In other words, the ultimate destination is for them to see the thank you page confirming that they did convert. They completed whatever action you wanted them to take, okay? So that's uh, setting up a goal description and the goal details. Now, this is an important part. Um, you're gonna enter your thank you page URL into the destination, okay? Uh, and the, you can also set up a value and a funnel. I'm not gonna cover these during this training because that's a little bit more detail. It's almost like, the next, you know, next level once you have goals set up. So a value is really a dollar value per the goal. If you can calculate that every time we get someone to sign a pledge, they are, um, you know, X percent likely to actually complete that pledge and make a donation. Here's how much that is worth. Here's how much that goal is worth. The funnel is really specifying a path that you expect people to take towards that destination. This uh, funnels help you discover um, constraints, really, or problems in your uh, donor funnel. So, for example, if you have one page that they go to and you really want them to, um, you know, click on another button and then they join your email list, uh, you can really see by setting up a funnel how effective that is, how effective that page is. And if it's not driving conversions, you can go back, obviously, and adjust that page, adjust the content and the images and the design of that page to improve that conversion. That's really the purpose of a funnel, okay? Uh, but the first step is obviously to set up a goal. So you enter your thank you page. This is the URL that people are gonna see that confirms that they converted, right? They became a new donor, 
a new volunteer, a new subscriber, they signed a pledge, and then you click on create goal. All right, so this is setting up your very first goal. Now, once you set up goals, there is a report in Google Analytics. There are actually several reports in Google Analytics where you can uh, look at your goals over time and you could see, for example, this goal here is they've joined, people have joined the hump day coffee break. So in other words, when you registered for today's training, um, that was captured on my Google Analytics in terms of a goal. Uh, and there's, you know, you can see the, the graph right here, basically over time. Every Tuesday, there happens to be a pretty big bump here in the goal. Uh, so I can track that over time. You know, how successful is that? Is that growing? Is it shrinking? What happened here, April 12th? That was a very, very successful hump day coffee break. People really love that topic. Other days, not so much, but here we have today is, uh, talking about Google Analytics, setting up goals, and that one was, was fairly popular compared to the other ones, right? So that's setting up the goal. I'm gonna show you a live demo in just a second. And then there's also goal alerts. So within the view column um, that we saw earlier, you know, you log into Google Analytics and you see the view column. This is our view column. Right under goals, if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see um, alerts. All right, so you're going to click custom alert, you're going to click create a new alert, and you're going to name your alert um, when you select your goal. All right, so you're going to, so for example, alert name, hump day coffee break exceeds 100, meaning 100 people registered for today's hump day coffee break. When that happens, I'm going to get an email. I can also set up my mobile phone to receive a text message that says, bing, hey, you exceeded that goal. This is, this is a good metric. And then of course in the conditions, you're going to alert me when, and within the goal area of the options, I can say joined hump day coffee break is greater than 100. I click on save, and every time that goal is exceeded, I get an email. In this case, I can get an email again, or a text message, right? So let's do a live demo of setting up goals now. All right, so I'm just gonna jump over to, uh, Chrome, I'm going to switch uh, go to webinar and just show you. So now you should see my browser. If you don't see my browser, let me know. I'm hoping you can see my browser. Yep. Okay, good. I'm going to assume you can see my browser. Um, <clears throat> so uh, to set up a goal, you log into Google Analytics, you click on admin, and you click on goals, and you click on new goal. All of these steps, by the way, are outlined in the slides. Okay, I'm just showing you the live demo. Uh, and in our example, we wanted to say, create a new account. So this is a new subscriber, a new uh, volunteer, a new um, you know, pledge signer, a new petition signer. And we, you know, obviously we have set that up on our website where um, when people sign that pledge or join our newsletter, they're, they're going to be redirected to a thank you page. That's absolutely critical. You have to have people redirected to a thank you page. Okay, so that's what we're going to pick in this case. We click on next step and we're going to name the uh, goal. All right, so we're going to say signed pledge in our, in our example and we'll pick our slot ID, our goal slot and ID. And as you can see, there are several sets of goals that we can create. Uh, you know, goal set three, different IDs. So every single goal has a unique ID that we can track. And that's going to be really useful, especially if we're running reports in Google Analytics. We can apply, <clears throat> we can look at, uh, say, all traffic from Facebook compared with converters. You know, who of the people that came from Facebook achieve that goal or, or you know, sign that pledge, okay? So we'll say destination for the type because this is a destination, it's a web page. We're not concerned about duration, the time spent on the site or s people seeing pages for a certain, a certain number of pages per session. Uh, and we're not really interested in them playing a video or anything like that. We literally just wanna track subscribers, donors, volunteers. In this case, they've signed a pledge. So we click on next step and our destination. Again, this is going to be our thank you page, okay? And so we'll say your org.org forward slash thank you. And that is our unique page. 
Now, it's a good idea to have a unique thank you page for each goal on your site. Uh, so, for example, if someone makes a donation, you want to have a, a unique page that says thank you for your donation. So that that page is very specific to that action. Same thing for pledge, same thing for newsletter. Value, we're going to skip that right here. Funnel, we're going to skip. We click on create goal. Okay, and then we have our goal. Once we are ready to look at the goal and look at the reporting, we can come down to a conversions area within Google Analytics. <clears throat> we click on goals and we click on overview and we can look at any single goal. We can look at any of these goals that are active and we can look at the chart, you know, obviously going across and seeing the, the type of activity, right? Now, the last thing I want to show you is how to set up a custom alert. So you go to your admin area on Google Analytics and we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on custom alert. Now the alert type we want to, well, we want to create new alert and we're going to say alert name, okay, signed the pledge, okay, and we're going to apply this to johnhayden.com. It's just the only property, the only website that we're going to do that for, right? Uh, that's more common. You wouldn't apply this to other sites or, or others that you're not working on. You're working on your own website, obviously. And this is going to apply to all traffic. We can filter that. We can put a condition on that. Okay. All traffic. Alert me when. And if I click on sessions, and if I scroll down a little bit, I look at goals. Okay. And I look at conversion rate. I can, and then I start to see my goals. So we have um, signed pledge, goal five. Signed pledge is greater than and you know number really doesn't matter here but it would be greater than whatever you want to be notified for right so if, if they you know if if it's greater than one you're going to be getting text messages and emails every time someone signs the pledge you're a busy person you want to set a threshold for yourself you know so if you're really reaching for a hundred people um, then definitely you know set that as your threshold uh, obviously, don't make it an impossible goal, but make it something that's a stretch, that's realistic, that you're trying to achieve. Click on Save Alert, and then you're all set. So I'm not going to save this because this is this is in my account. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that is it. Now I'm going to open it up for Q and A. Let me just jump over here, and let's see if you guys have any questions. That's great. Um, great, beautiful. So browser is visible. Awesome. Susan is asking, um, how do you track a conversion on a donation if you are using a third-party service like Network for Good? Um, <clears throat> the way to track that conversion is to make sure that the thank you page for Network for Good, it, it, um, you're going to do one of two things. <clears throat> Either you're going to make sure that the thank you page, which hopefully you can edit, you know, when you're setting up the donation um, um, you know, system with with Network for Good, hopefully they give you an option, and I haven't worked with Network for Good in, in, in a while, but they, I, I believe they do have an option where you're going to pick a destination, a redirect. So after they make a donation, they're going to be redirected to a page on your website, and it will be that thank you page. Thank you so much for making that donation. So that's on your website. If it's on your website, great. You're fine. You can track it because you can install Google Analytics on your website. If, it's, if they don't give you that option, um, find out from Network for Good if you can install, if you can put a tracking code, a Google Analytics tracking code on that um, on their thank you page so that then you can track the conversions, okay? So you should be able to do that. Um, and that, that was Susan, I hope that helped. Uh, Brendan is asking, could you recommend any additional resources to learn about Google Analytics, maybe a course you teach? Well, interestingly, you ask that, Brendan. I'm actually working with a guy, um, Eric Squire, who's a, a Google Analytics expert up in um, Canada. And we're actually putting together a training session for June focusing on Google Analytics and Facebook Insights, you know, combining the two together. Um, so I'll let you know about that. But let me just tell you right now, YouTube is an awesome place to learn about Google Analytics. In fact, Google... Um, has a whole channel called Google Analytics. It's the Google Analytics YouTube channel, and they have different um, playlists, playlists for beginners, goals, getting started, everything. As you can imagine,
Google Analytics is a, um, it's a, uh, there's a lot to learn, okay? It's endless. I mean, they have tons of videos. It's an extremely robust tool. What I will say, though, is this. Goals are a prerequisite. So in other words, in order to get any value out of Google Analytics, some real value, goal, you have to set up goals because you're, the purpose of your website is to drive traffic to um, achieve those goals, right? The purpose of your website is not just informational. It's really to get people engaged with your website. Maybe they're coming from Twitter or Facebook. And on your website, you're giving them compelling reasons to take that next step, which is sign the pledge, join the newsletter, become a volunteer, and make a donation. Your your website is is that how effective are you doing? How effective is your website at achieving those specific goals? Um, in order to answer that question at all, which is a very important question, you have to have Google Analytics goals set up. Okay. Uh, and Beth is asking, what's the easiest way to compare conversions from entrance source, uh, so Facebook versus Google AdWords versus all visitors. Well, you can apply, when you look at any report, you can apply a segment. And so you can just apply various different segments to your um, to any report in there. And within that segment, you can have a segment called converters. And that's where we get into goals. So you can look at all your traffic from Facebook, and then you can look at, within that same report, people that are converting from, you know, how, how well is Facebook traffic converting versus Google um, AdWord traffic. So those, those uh, reports are in there. But you have to create the goal first in order to see those sort of segments, okay? Um, so, so again, the analogy I said earlier is, 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 is pretty accurate. It's like trying to play football without a goal post. You know, where's the goal? Ah, did we hit the goal? Ah, it kind of went in the direction where we think the goal post might go but we're not really sure. If you have a goal post, there's no argument at all. That's, that's, that's really what, what goals are. They're really just setting up that goal post and that's it, okay? Uh, Brendan says, thank you. I would love to learn about the course you are going to offer. I will definitely let you know. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. Sharon says, uh, can this be used with a blog? Yes, this can be used with a blog, um, uh, with a hosted blog. Uh, so for example, wordpress.org not dot com although i will say with wordpress.com or even tumblr they do have features where you can add google, google analytics tracking onto those blogs all right i i personally know wordpress.org and how to you know set that up but um, i'm sure the free blogs like tumblr and wordpress.com and uh, they definitely give you the ability to track in google analytics i just don't know to what extent that's the only thing i don't know Beth says, thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, does this work on websites that are on WordPress? Yes. The, uh, in fact, most of the websites I work with and work on or, or clients that I work with, a lot of them are WordPress. The one that I demonstrated today is on WordPress. Okay. Uh, and Tricia says, if you set up Google Analytics, can someone else from a different email address set up an, an analysis also? Yes, absolutely. In fact, let me show you exactly how to do that, okay? So great great question, Tricia. So if you go to admin, um, you can click on user management, and this is where you can add different users. So for example, I have a consultant that does some work for me on my own website, and she has the ability to read and analyze any report. On her end, she can create whatever goal she wants. So goals, when you create goals, Goals are specific to the user. It's not specific to the account, all right? So in other words, I might have, um, I might have several users on it. Um, all the users can create goals and they, have their, they can create their own unique goals that are specific to them. So it's basically a user level feature in Google Analytics. It, so in other words, the goals that I set up that I showed you earlier, Andrea won't be able to see those unless I share them. I can share those with her uh, but she can also set up her own goals too, okay? So I'm um, hoping that makes sense. But yes, you can always add other people to Google Analytics and they can do whatever you want. You can give them edit access, you can give them view access and, 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 and analyze access as well, all right? So that's it, that was uh, short and sweet. 
I hope. I hope it was useful. I did record this. I'm recording it right now, so I will send out the, the recording on Tuesday so you can check it out. The slides you have right now, I can just send out another link if you want. Let me just type this in here. I'm going to send it to all of you. This is the slide share. Uh, you know, the slides basically on SlideShare, and they have all the instructions step by step. You can set up these goals on your own. Obviously, the prerequisite is you have to have uh, Google Analytics installed on your website. Okay? So that is it. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, Doug is here. I was wondering, Doug, I saw your name, but I wasn't sure if you were here. So hi, Doug. Uh, Iris, you're very, very welcome. Sharon, you're very welcome. And have a great week, everybody. Okay, stay cool. It's pretty hot up here in Boston. It's only 80, but still, it's really super humid. So anyhow, have a great week and have a great weekend. Take care, you guys. Bye.